Well, glory to God. Welcome once again to Power of Faith. I'm Pastor Philip Durber with my lovely wife, Alberta Durber. And we are just delighted to be able to share with you the truths of God's word once again. Mm-hmm. Luke 1, 37 says, For with God nothing shall be nothing. impossible. And welcome back. Thank you. It's good to be back. Well, how are you doing today? I'm resurrected myself. I'm doing great. I'm doing uh, marvelous. Uh, ah, marvelous. <laughs> marvelous Monday. It is. It is. Yeah, it that was a good uh, meetings with Dad Tilton last week. It was a good time. And we're going to Florida. You got it. To be with Pastor Jonathan and Pastor yes. Kim, Kimberly. And this is going to be a, This is going to be a. A very um, monumental time. You know, I was talking to uh, Pastor Eric before cameras went on, and uh, you know, this is the first time really we, we're we're going to live stream here what I'm preaching down there. Oh yeah, you of know? course, yeah. And because I don't, I want the people to be engaged. I mean, because, and, and I use this because God didn't say, say. He, it was just under that prophetic anointing about October 31st. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, you were telling me, <laughs> hey, we need to go to Pastor John. I said, honey, quit that now. You know, you don't invite yourself to somebody's church and so on and so forth. No, yeah, that's where you release that word. We need to be down there. Well, you 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 have you'll come up with any kind of excuse to go there, but but no, you wouldn't really, talking about right. that. That's right. Yeah, I really did feel that way. It's just, and then Pastor, yeah, I do. Pastor like John and called and said, "Hey, would you, would you consider I doing said, that?" Thank you, Jesus. And I said, "Well, here we go." And then uh, last night I woke you up when Cat uh, Kerr. Yeah. And when she said, "I'm not God. She I'm said, not saying this is God. God. If I were, but it would be just like God." To blast things open on October 31st. Uh, and I mean, the devil thinks that's his day of celebration. He thinks it's his month. It's over, yeah, of course. No, 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 no. But yeah. Halloween day. And I remember as a as a kid in Catholic school, uh, of course, I t- uh, Halloween night, the 31st, but then November 1st and November 2nd, now I don't know which was which, one would be All Souls Day. Don't ask me what. And the and the next was All Saints Day. Yeah, I think I think you got them backwards. I think All Saints, all Saints Day is Day first. And all Souls. How do you know, know about that? Well, I know about All Saints Day. I don't know about All Souls Day. How do you know about All Saints Day? Because I'm a preacher. I'm a saint. It's my day. But, no, just uh, from teaching. Just from teaching on uh, the reason it was Halloween, Halloween Hallowed was Evening, Eve. was going into. Day. All Saints Day, like Christmas Eve yeah. going into Christmas Day, yes. New Year's Eve and then New Year's Day. And then I wonder what All Souls. Purgatory. Just saying. <laughs> well, we're glad you're with us this half hour, yeah. and we're going to dive into these new creation realities and just uh, build ourselves up in this marvelous truth of what Jesus did for us. Amen. You ready, John? Amen. Jump? Yeah, I was just checking. Okay. I'm in there. You're this in way. there. I'm in there once this way. All right. Okay. October 25th, our, our scripture verse today is from Jeremiah 51 and verse 10. The Lord hath brought forth our righteousness. Come and let us declare in Zion the work of the Lord our God. Hmm. That's that righteousness. Mm-hmm. Father God wants his righteous children to tell the whole church about it. When God brings forth the truth of righteousness or right standing to a born-again believer, it's hard to grasp at first. The Bible says it's a righteousness which is by faith, Romans 9.20. So it will require the faith of the believer to walk in it. Why does, why does it take faith? Because this is the same righteousness as God has. Wow. That, my friends, is an awesome new creation reality. The modern-day church as a whole 
doesn't know the work of the Lord as far as righteousness is concerned. They know the work of Calvary for sin, but they don't know much about being made righteous through Jesus Christ. They are still trapped in the religious idea that all Christians remain sinners after being saved by grace. That is why very few people are declaring in Zion, the church, the righteous work of the Lord. Let me, let me uh, stop you right there yeah. because it says Romans 9, 20. That's not right. No, I know. And it's actually uh, it be? Romans Eight? chapter oh, 10. 10. And, uh, it didn't even look right. Yeah, and, and verse to six. Cross that out and. Yeah. So in your book, really that Romans nine twenty is not right. When we when we go to print again. Yeah, well. We need. So we need it. We'll yeah. have to tell Jeff. I'll cross it out, Pastor yeah. Eric. Can you remember that? Thank you. Okay. I didn't. So start all over, huh? That, that that threw me off there. Yeah, you were busy watching. Yeah. Do you want me to read the scriptures? No, no, no. Okay. Father God wants his righteous children to tell the whole church about it. We're talking about the work of righteousness. Uh, when God brings forth the truth of righteousness or right standing to a born-again believer, it's hard to grasp at first. The Bible says it's a righteousness which is by faith. Romans 10, verse 6, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it will require the faith of the believer to walk in it. Why does it take faith? Because this is the same righteousness as God has. That, my friends, is an awesome new creation reality. The modern day church as a whole doesn't know the work of the Lord as far as righteousness is concerned. They know the work of Calvary for sin, but they don't know how much they don't know much about being made righteous through Jesus Christ. They are still trapped in the religious idea that all Christians remain sinners after being saved by grace. That scripture just came up where it says that, um, is it the righteous don't sin? Or if you're born again, you, you don't sin? Well, no, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, I know, I should, it's not bad. There's a verse I just read it yesterday in the name of Jesus. I have the mind of Christ. It says, if we're something, we don't sin. I'll find it. Somewhere, I don't know, Pastor Eric, maybe you could find it. Don't sin. We don't sin. Anyway, but that's what that reminded me of. Um, well, yeah, we can sin. Oh, yes. That's why that verse always used to puzzle me. But we can sin. We can do it. But we don't, that's not our but lifestyle. But you have to get in the flesh yes. to do it. Yes. If, you, if you're if you operating, walking in the spirit out of your righteous new man, your righteous new man does not sin. That's right. If you're 100% walking in your new man. That's, that's And that's walking in the spirit. Yeah. Living in in the spirit. Anyways, they are still trapped. They are still trapped in the religious idea that all Christians remain sinners after being saved by grace. That is why very few people are declaring in Zion, the church, the righteous work of the Lord. There is a lot of truth in the old adage, it takes one to know one. A believer who understands his right standing with Father God through Jesus Christ will recognize another believer who knows that truth also. As well, the believer who knows he is righteous can tell when another believer doesn't know his right standing with God. That is the time to declare it to the church, not to a building. That is the time to declare it to the church, not to a building, but to God's people. This is righteousness. This is righteousness evangelism. Winning a born-again believer over into his rightful place of righteousness. I have seen this happen many times. A Christian who has been saved for years but never knew he was righteous 
gets turned on to the right standing revelation. His Christian life. I gotta read that again. A Christian who has been saved for years but never knew he was righteous gets turned on to the right standing revelation. His Christian life, as good as it may have been, just radically changed. So awake to righteousness and evangelize the church. Yeah. We used to say when we found that out, it was like we found out about righteousness. It was like being born again, again. Well, any time uh, tradition is blasted out of the way, it is an eye-opener. Mm -hmm. I remember, for instance, uh, I was taught Jesus was poor. Yeah. And then when I heard John Avanzini oh, lay that out I way, back, way back in the day, the and I'm like, my goodness, why didn't somebody tell me this years ago? And then... Uh, when I discovered on my own uh, through the Holy Ghost that Jesus actually went to hell, you know, and I'm like, whoa, boy. I mean, that, you know, my church, yeah. my church had him on the cross, had him in the tomb, and had him back up in heaven, but hell was left out of the picture. Still you know? to today, it's hard. And, to... and, and all these different truths, if they're left out, out, then it gives you a warped idea of who God you is, and then you have a life. warped idea of who you, you are. You are, exactly. And you have a hard time trying to live the born again new creation life mm -hmm. because you're living your old creation. Mm -hmm. You know, you're still in there, you know, it's like uh, well, when, when we discovered righteousness, we wasn't quiet about it. No, and that was oh, people, and, we got persecuted for that. Oh my. So did Jesus so. Uh, <laughs> You know, here's what happened. The the ministry we were affiliated with back in those days, uh, some of their people were coming to our Tuesday night uh, service, and we were getting in that righteousness jacuzzi, and it was changing their lives like it was changing ours, and they weren't they weren't quiet about it. And so, the pastor of that ministry called me in and said, sit down. I sat down. He said, what are you teaching up there? Mm -hmm. I said, well, I'm teaching righteousness. And uh, he said, tell me about it. And so I explained to him that, that righteousness and holiness, you know, the ABCs, righteousness is right standing, holiness is right living, took him through some scriptures, so on and so forth. And he said, uh, well, I don't, I don't see it like you see it, but I don't see anything against it. Well, it would be years later, probably seven, eight years later, the light came on with him, and he started preaching righteousness. Long after. Yeah, it was a long time after, and uh, when it, when the lights came on, he said, "I feel like I've been born again," because that righteousness born again understanding. Again. It, it, the lights have to come on. Oh, yeah. And that's why you you that are listening, mm -hmm. it says awake yeah, to awake. righteousness. Your eyes have to pop open to this. That's right. And if you're not getting it. the sun it, shine in. If you're not seeing it, seeing it, uh, you, go to God with that. Yeah. And say, and say God, oh, so open up my eyes that I can behold this wondrous truth that uh, Pastor Philip and Mama Alberta is, is teaching. Yeah. And perhaps you're, you you got a glimpse of it, but you're not really walking in it, uh, walking in it. You know uh, that righteousness is right standing. You know how to pass the charismatic quiz, but as, as far as working your righteousness to where uh, you, you're having that peace in your life and that, and that uh, assurance forever, that effect, it's not happening then go to God with it, and he'll do it. He'll open up your eyes, and the Bible says that righteousness is revealed from faith to faith. And so uh, the more you understand the law of faith, it will highly develop uh, your walk in righteousness. That's why we were so well-developed in the law of faith, yeah. 
that when we heard this righteous yeah, teaching, we, we grabbed it. We grabbed it. It wasn't something that we had to think about for three or four years. We grabbed no. it. Well, we, we were thrust into the life of faith. We were, we were thrust into... Yeah, but I'm talking about the, the revelation of righteousness. I know, but that's why we... That's why we because from day one, mm -hmm. we, were, we applied everything we heard. Mm -hmm. So that when that came, we had... That was like... Yeah, and it's, good, and it's good to be... Yeah. Uh, to 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 be uh, grounded in faith. Oh, oh! You know, it's uh, necessary. Pastor Jonathan and Kim, they they had the faith thing going right, and then they heard about debt free and all this other stuff, right? Well, their faith was already there. They grabbed it. They sure did. They almost surpassed hey. us. I mean, they got nah, half, a, nah, half a million nah, dollars enough. worth of debt. And you better hang on, that. kids. We're we're, we're yeah. rocking and rolling. Yeah. But it says here that God wants this declared in the church. He wants this outside of our ministry. I've heard Brother Copeland minister on it. Uh. Brother Woody, minister on it, but very few people. Uh, now, a lot of ministers I know know it. Yeah. Uh, nowadays, more than ever, but is it being declared? That's See, right. it says, the Lord hath brought yes. forth our righteousness. Come and let yes, us declare, declare it in the church yeah. that work of the Lord our God. The work, what work? The work of righteousness. That work that he did to the Lord Jesus Christ. Why do you think is it, it it hasn't been taught? Even by those that know it now. Well, I you know afraid of the persecution. I don't know. I don't know. It's really easy as a pastor uh to uh get in a certain flow and uh you know it yourself. So you know, you just kind of assume that when you mention it uh, in in your message, and everybody amens that everybody's got that, but they don't. Oh. And and uh, I don't know, uh, but God wants it declared. Yeah, true. And because righteousness, uh, Romans five seventeen says, uh, those which receive abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness shall mm -hmm. reign. Shall reign in life by one uh, Christ Jesus. And so uh, it's it's directly connected to victory. It's directly connected to a manifestation, righteousness, your right standing with mm -hmm. God. And when, when uh, you're standing right, right in itself is powerful. <laughs> yeah. Just being right. Just being right. Is powerful. <laughs> And and when you know you're right, oh boy! And even though everybody else may 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 think you're, you're wrong, you're wrong. And they do all their investigations, and they find out. Well, he was right. He was right about that. See, when you know you're right. Well, there's a piece about it. Awesome. You know, yeah. I know I know who I am. I'm Philip Durbin. You know who you are. You're Alberta Durbin. Now, if somebody says that's not who you are, <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> Okay, I tell you. And they want you proof. Know. They want proof of it. Go get your own proof. Go go do your own investigation. Yeah. Why do I have to? Why do I have to prove? I don't have to prove my name. Right. I know who I am. Yeah. Right. You don't believe me? You go search it out. Right. And and but then it, it gets to this place where uh, we need to see your ID uh, so you can get on that airplane. We need to see your ID so you can rent that car. We need. Okay. Well, here's the proof. Then, that what? I, but you you already know, you already know you're right. right. Way before you had to prove right to put the proof, the ID that you're right. The right, right. And so <laughs> <laughs> that's right. And so when you declare this beautiful truth, this is a radical, one hundred percent turnaround. Back into the Garden of Eden. My God. Sinless. That's powerful. 
in communicate nothing separating you from God. Oh, God. Nothing. That's what right standing does. It, 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 it gives you victory over sin. It establishes you in the God family. And you have direct communication lines to Father. Hallelujah. Shh. Download everything you need. Everything. Mm -hmm. Every, well, uh, you know, there's many things that God can say for us to declare in Zion. But when he says declare this, he knows really how clear. important it is for the believer yeah. to get a hold of the reality that you are not just forgiven. Mm -hmm. Thank God for, for, for being forgiven. But the Old Testament saints were forgiven yeah. through their, the blood of bulls and goats. But they still had the conscience of yes, sin. Exactly. They still hadn't been born again on right. the inside. They still had a deadness in, in, even though they're forgiven, atoned for that, they're still dead in trespassing and sin because they're going to sin again. They, they, didn't, they, hadn't, they didn't have no way of stopping, stopping from sinning. Now their sins were different. Some people were, were, were murderers. Others were just, you know, sinned by lying. Or stealing something. That's a big sin. Yeah, but you understand what I'm yeah. saying. There's yeah. different different levels of sin. Somebody could could have been a very good person, right? But still sin. Right? Yeah. But yeah. right standing. When when we got born again, right standing in our new man now. Now, we have the power over sin. Oh God. And you when you have power of sin then you have power over the devil who's the author of sin. Mm -hmm. So I don't, have to, I don't have to live my life subjected to the lust of this world, no. to the pride of life. I don't, have, I, don't have to, I don't have to deal with that. Why? Because that's not who I am right. if I operate out of in here, mm -hmm. the new man. Put off the old man. That's it. The Bible put says, it put it man. off. Paul said, I die daily. Yes. In other words, I don't let I don't no, let that I reckon flesh myself man. dead to that. Yes, exactly. And when it when when righteousness is declared, when it is shouted, when it is proclaimed, when it is being preached and taught. And people are praising God out of that righteousness declaration. Oh, the, the, the devil freaks out mm -hmm. because, uh-oh, there's a group of people mm -hmm. that sin don't work on them. Temptation don't work on them. Accusations don't work on them. Condemnation don't work on them. Guilt don't work on them. Shame don't work Come on them. On. Regret don't work on them. There's nothing that works right. on them because something is working inside that's greater than what, what yes. used to work on the outside. Yes. And God's saying, would, would you declare that in Zion? Mm -hmm. would, you, would you make it known about what the Lord's work has done? So he was delivered. I say this a lot. Let, well, let me read it. He was delivered for our offenses. And that would have been wonderful in itself. But it says here uh, in Romans chapter 4, it says, Who was delivered for our offenses mm -hmm. and plus was raised again for our justification. So the sin Just problem, the sin understand. problem was taken care of at Calvary. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. But that's sin past. Mm -hmm. So if he hadn't raised from the dead, then we would still not be alive on the inside. That's right. He was the firstborn many. among many brethren. 
So when he rose from the dead, breathed on his disciples, they were born again, right? Yeah. Right? And out of that right standing, out of that newness of life, he intends you and I to live, and we're out of time on this marvelous Monday. Wow. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. That went fast. Oh, it's wonderful. Amen. We're glad We're glad you're able to be with us, and, and, and all this week, we're just going to, uh, just get ourselves all stirred up yes. in the Word of God. Amen. Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 4 says, Where the Word of a king is, there, there is power. power. Be a blessing. Awake to Righteousness with a daily devotional by Drs. Philip and Alberta Derber. In this powerful devotional, you'll learn the different aspects of the righteousness or right standing that Jesus has provided. Get the reality of what Jesus has done deep down inside of you to the point that every day you awake to righteousness. Awake to Righteousness includes 365 daily devotions accompanied by a master key verse and a scriptural meditation for every day of the year. Get your Awake to Righteousness devotional today. You can order online at our website or give us a call at 502-875-7886.